As I unleash the most personal and intimate details of my life while starting completely over, I allow you to experience it all with me. Prepare your appetite for some amazing brunch. The food is here, we're happy. And listen while I share the unbearable. Just like I feel like every woman has nipple hair. And take you from store to store for an epic thrifting fail. We're throwing in the towel and we're going back home. I'm determined to live the best life in the city of Los Angeles and I will persist until I succeed. You think you know, but you have no idea. So Felicia shares it all. Okay, so basically everything that we just said wasn't recording. Amelia, say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so, we are headed to Post and Beam in Culver City. We live in Santa Clarita, but now we are uh, headed there. We're like 20 something minutes behind. We were, we were supposed to be there at 1045, but let's just go back to like how this even, this idea even started. So I was looking for restaurants, like brunch spots that were owned by black people that were black owned. And I could not find anything in the area where we lived, but we did find some restaurants and then Posting the Beam was actually one of the first ones that came up. So my sister and I decided that we should host a brunch for black women because we don't see a lot of things like that or we don't get to experience a lot of things like that. I agree. She agrees. So, um, we put together this ho this brunch. Our, our goal is that it would grow and we would have a lot of women come together on a Sunday or either a Saturday and get together and basically commune and have brunch and drink tons of mimosas. Um, but this is our first time hosting it or putting it together. You know, it's... Um, We've got some hiccups right now, but we're still we're still very positive. We're staying positive about it. Uh, but we are running on CP time. We're not gonna lie about that. But we just had so much going on this weekend. So honestly, and this morning, more so my sister. But um, I just took forever to get ready. So now we're on the way there, and we're up against this horrific traffic. 405 on the 405 and we're just hoping to get there in enough time to be able to still have our seats because they weren't playing about giving these seats away. And they also weren't playing about mimosas only being offered for 90 minutes, sis. From the start of our reservation. I'm gonna need them to be more flexible with the <laughs> bottomless mimosas. Um, yeah, like I've never heard of anything like that before. I if you if you pay for bottomless mimosas, you get it until you leave. So not not this 90 minute situation. However, um we're, I'm gonna enjoy my mimosas. I'm gonna get them back to back. <laughs> and then I need to get my nails done. You know, guys, my toes look a hot mess. Amelia and I were supposed to get them done together, but she just had so many obligations this weekend that we didn't. But we, we've got to figure something out because my toes and my nails are, atro oh, they're uh, atrocious. I was gonna, I was gonna try to put together a horrendous and atrocious, but it didn't work out. But that's, they're, atro they're atrocious. <laughs> that's how bad they are, atrocious. Um, so yeah. We're just gonna enjoy the rest of this ride. Pretty sweet baby Jesus that we are able to get. We're, we're just able to still have these reservations. Let me look and see what people said about the ETA time. Somebody said, can you send the address? All right, well, we got to go. Yeah, I, 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 I
What is it? It's a uh, beer with like tomato and spices. Oh, mm. like a Bloody Mary. Like a Bloody Mary. Yeah, like a well, I should have got that. That's what I should have did then. Just checking in. Because I love Bloody Mary. The food is here. We're happy. Bobby features. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> How far we <are> <laughs> No, I got them golden pipes. <laughs> what was the lie? Did we get? So you haven't eaten it since? Oh my god. Is it amazing, Bianca? Oh my god. Look at that. The best waffle, don't do this to me. I wanted that waffle. Oh God. She said it's the best waffle. We're finally at a point where we can see because we're trying to become. Thank you. Really, really nice right now. <laughs> it's been a long time. I shouldn't have left you without a new vlog to look at. 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 Say good morning. Good morning. So, hello, folks. It is the 31st of March, and we are getting ready to go to Studio City. We're no, we're gonna go to Beverly Hills first, aren't we? Isn't that what we're gonna at least look to see what the thrift store looks like? That was the whole point. Are you just curious? Yeah, about I'm not what gonna lie. I am curious. Like? Okay, because let's what head if up we can Beverly Hills. So we're going to Beverly Hills, and this would be my first time in Beverly Hills because I've never been. My sister's going to Seattle on on Thursday mm -hmm. she's going with a group of her dearest girlfriends and so I have been enlisted to help her style an outfit so Amelia what are the terms of this okay, challenge so this is our our GW challenge so we call it goodwill challenge and we have to there are two criteria you spend the least amount of money for an outfit. Whoever spends the least amount of money gets a free jewelry. And whoever has the flyest outfit, which is a separate category, um, gets a free meal. That's what I'm trying to get. I would try to win that free meal too. However, the only thing I don't like about the challenge is that you, you guys are voting. I really feel like you should get a random stranger off the street to vote for who has the flyest outfit. I think that's only fair sure why the camera keeps cutting off but anyway basically what we were saying is that i feel like there should be a, a just more of a um more i think there should be a different process for their voting for the vote of who has the best outfit on but my sister said either way they can't vote for themselves so it'll be fair but i don't like the voting i don't like their process of um selecting who is going to be the winner but whatever it is it's not, what it is it's not my decision um so anyways i've been enlisted to help look for a uh, outfit so i'm going to put my skills to um i'm going to put my skills to the not put my skills to the test my skills don't have to be tested my skills are my skills i'm basically um putting my skills in action today because they've been resting. I hope this isn't blurry, it looks a little blurry. But my skills have been resting because I haven't been doing much styling. And, um, but I've been doing a lot of research as of late. So I have a lot of knowledge to bring back to my channel once I really go full throttle on my channel. Also, I wanna just say to the people that have been following me, the ladies that have been following me, I see y'all, I see y'all, I see you guys, I see you ladies always commenting in the comment section. You're very consistent and very loyal and I wanna call y'all my all stars because you just show up all the time. And so I see you all. And I'm gonna, I'm, I really wanna recognize you all 
Um, I haven't figured out a way to do it, but I do want to recognize you all. But I, I definitely see you commenting and just showing me so much love on every video. And you've been through me, been with me throughout the whole journey of edges, no edges to I'm moving to I don't really know what I'm doing to my breakdowns and my therapy and me now exploring the city and still trying to figure out when I'm going to come back consistently as a beauty channel. So thank y'all for just supporting me. It's great. Um, so we're headed to take on the day to complete this challenge and you guys are coming along so stay tuned we're having a conversation about chin hair and i was telling my sister well i've told her before that my chin hairs are very aggressive like the way they just come in they're just very like do you feel like they're aggressive at more at the points of the month like when you're i don't know i just know they just look real they're like real coarse and curly and i'm just like you guys are just aggressive and then they don't they are very resistant to like the pull and the touch of when you know when you just try to pluck them yourself. Well, so, I get mad because they want to grow long, like right here. And it's like, why can't you grow like that in other areas of our bodies? Like our hair? Yes. yes. Like my edges? Yeah. Yeah. Let's replace my edges with my chin hairs. That would be great. Why don't you be aggressive and grow there? Right. So. The thing is, I was telling my sister that when I'm at work, I get a little subconscious because I have a boss and he's a male boss. Um, he's a, well, I work for a director. And I was telling her that I feel like sometimes I wonder if he can catch the hair on my chinny chin chin chin. But she said no, she doesn't think no, so. I don't think people are looking at us like But that. you don't know, no, you don't know because sometimes you don't know how close you are with somebody where you can spot out stuff because i spot out you know his be i can tell when he's clean shaved and when he's not shaved but and that's different because you can see that i mean he could be over there and you can see that he's not but he's shaved. like sometimes like right here amelia one time you pointed out my chin hair felicia but that's number one we're girls y'all know we'd be doing that and number two um, you know, because you are a beauty influencer, I always gotta look you over. And so if I see something, I'll be like, "Oh, so you, so you like me? You grow hairs there like me too? Because sometimes we be thinking y'all flawless. And there's, you know, not to say that you're not flawless, but we're but real know, people just like everybody exactly. else. Exactly. And so when when I see something like that, I'm like, oh. You're real, just like me. And as a matter of fact, I forgot about my chin hair uh, the other day until I was looking at my last video and I was, I saw a chin hair and I said, oh my God, but it is what it is. I grow chin hair and they come like very, I could pluck one and one would be there like within the next hour. So, and I should also say that Felicia is very, not that she's high maintenance, but she maintains herself very frequent. Is that is that a good is that a good word to say? You do maintain yourself very frequently, well, more than I do I, as a mom and a. Well, I wife. try, but I you know I slip up. See, there there there's like. Well, the only reason why we got to this conversation is because we were talking about like threading. Yeah. Do you guys go get your chin hairs threaded? How are your chin hairs aggressive? And. I feel like that would hurt though. How often? It is gonna hurt, and I will, and I have a mustache too. Now I don't. Oh. I do shave it, but I just. I I'm not. I'm gonna, I would never. Mm -mm. I got it waxed one time, and it hurt it. Remember, I told you that, and I said, yes. "What's the point?" Uh, I would never go get so it. So, if you think again. wax hurt, imagine threading. In yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Yeah. I just would shave it and deal with the consequences. I want to know from you: Do you shave? Do you wax? Do you just let your chin hairs sit there? Mm. Do you forget about your chin hairs? Let me know in the comment section. I'm curious. We want to know. And I think, I feel like every woman gets has chin hair. So if I'm wrong, let me know in the comment section. Just like I feel like every woman has nipple hair. Okay. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comment section. Mm. It's we have We have testosterone just like men. It's just not as... We just don't have the a massive amounts that men have, but that's why we have we get hair that grows out of ungodly places. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't know that's why we have. We yeah, have we have hair. testosterone. It's, yeah, I mean, I knew that, but I didn't know that that attribute. Yeah. To or contribute to. It's that. just small amounts. So why do you think we get hair underneath our arms? We grow. We grow hair underneath our arms. 
But I just thought that that was just that's the just way, natural. Yeah, it was just no. Natural. We have small amounts of testosterone. But have you ever heard a girl say that? Well, why not testosterone's level are a little higher than? Oh yeah. Yeah. Um. Now I could have completely made that up. Someone like you could love. tried the Goodwill it was not the right fit for what we're looking for mm -hmm. it just you guys I used to thrift from the ages of 23 to 28 I used to just thrift for clothes I mean I would I would buy new clothes as well but I did a lot of thrifting and um, I have since then stopped I stopped around the age of 29 just just because it wasn't as fun anymore and when you start piling up a bunch of clothes that you don't wear it's just like why did I spend this money and you when you when you thrift you have to dig and I don't have the patience to dig like I used to dig so if I'm gonna go to a thrift store or if I'm gonna go get clothes that were lightly loved before it has to be a curated store so I mean color coordinated dresses here dresses there like and things like I don't want dingy looking clothes. I want clothes that look like they still have value to them. And when I go to the Goodwill, I don't feel like the clothes look like there's no value to the, the, the clothes. They look like they've been worn over several times. Now some people have good luck at it, good luck with Goodwills, but I don't prefer to have to like rummage through things anymore. I'm just at a different place in my life. When I was in college and when I was really just didn't have much time on my hands, I loved it, but now I don't feel like doing all that. So, on to the next place. We're, we're gonna try a consignment Cross, store. Mm -hmm, Crossroads Trading. We're gonna try Crossroads Trading, and we're also gonna try Melrose Trade. Trading Post. Trading Post. I probably can't bring the camera in there because we're going into Melrose, and I'm sure, yeah. So, we'll see. I might have to sneak it, so bear with us. <laughs> for specific clothing items. And Crossroads did not have what we needed. Or the size. The sizes, basically. I didn't know if we wanted to, yeah. We're well, looking for- We should be selling them then. They don't have extra large or plus sizes. We're looking for extra larges and they cater to smaller sizes. So if you guys ever decide to go to Crossroads in LA, just know that they, they ain't checking for large larger size or any dress shop they should probably call yeah probably enemy. call if you want to go if you want to go to a thrift store thank you that's all we needed to say third time's a charm let's make this work that's cute We just came from Crossroads. Unfortunately, there wasn't much of a selection, so we're throwing in the towel today. It's just they don't have a lot of selection for for larger sizes. The selection is, you know, very limited for larger sizes, and also um, the larger it is, I feel like it starts to look not. I feel like. They take any, I feel like for smaller sizes, they take the really cute stuff, but for larger sizes, they take anything. Anything, and I don't like that. Just to have stock. Just to have stock. 
that's exactly what I feel like they do. And then also for um, for just the overall experience, I think what I what I would have wanted to what I was looking for, what I would have tried to do for Amelia, I don't I just didn't have the I didn't see it in their inventory, so I basically well Amelia was like mm -mm, she gave up. Oh here's one LA. I yeah, had no idea. Like right here. Yeah, I had no idea that's where it was this whole time. Oh my goodness. So it's on Fairfax. We're on Fairfax right now. It doesn't even look how I expected it to look. Not that I expected it to look. Yeah, it just looks. Well, it's not on a super busy street like Yeah, that's what gone. I was thinking. It was on a super, super busy street. So, yeah. And it's kind of spread out. Um. So, with that being said, we're throwing in the towel and we're going back home. That's what we're doing. Mm -hmm.